Well, first of all, welcome everybody to the Embassy of Italy to the fourth Roman annual gala on the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima. And we have very distinguished guests and honorees tonight, and we have a special unveiling of our Pieta that was donated by our wonderful art benefactor, Thomas Crazel, Sandy Crazel, and his family. And I would like to ask Prince Lorenzo and Tim and David to unveil the sculpture of the Pieta Replicata by by our
You know, as a good Irish Catholic boy standing in the, the embassy of the Italian, everybody always asks me, as an Irish guy, what am I doing with all these Italians? And, you know, it all started with our dear friend Ed Malloy, who's one of the founders. He was a great Irishman. And it's always nice to call on another brother Irishman to come up and give us a little help. So with that, I would ask for the Honorable Ambassador Ray Flynn to come up and please join us on the stage. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What an honor it is once again to be with all of you tonight on this very special evening, as Christina said, Feast of Our Lady of Fatima, but it's also a night friends get together and celebrate something very meaningful and significant, the celebration of Catholic art, and culture, history here, right here in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. So, Christina and the committee, we applaud what you're doing and we support your effort very enthusiastically. It's, uh, I'm, I'm particularly, I think we all feel the same level of excitement in the year, just in a short period of time. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, will be coming to the United States, and it's going to be an exciting time for our country. And uh, Christina pointed out where he's visiting, and we know that it's going to be a special occasion, a special, a special time for our country. I, I just hope that uh, what he has to say is reported accurately by the media and not take us off into some kind of direction where it creates a level of controversy. Uh, but uh, Pope Francis is, uh, has a good message for us, and I think we're all going to welcome it. There's so much going on in society in our country that we really need a message, a positive message of hope and uh, to have it delivered by such a, a humble a man of truth, it's going to be very, very significant. Uh, even today, I might add, I just, before I came here, I was doing a number of television um, interviews, uh, the Catholic Church, the Vatican, the Holy See, having its relationship with the, uh, the Palestine state. It's a uh, very important, I believe, significant development for the peace process. When you think about all the efforts that have been made over the decades for, for ending the war and the bloodshed and the violence in the Middle East all these years, nobody has been able to do that. Not the United Nations, not the international community. And we have this humble, simple man from Buenos Aires that is now giving us some hope that we will see the end of the bloodshed and the chaos in, in the Middle East. So we applaud the Holy Father's effort, and I'm sure we're going to hear a lot about that. We have a very special guest with us this evening, and I have known him for many, many years. Cardinal O'Connor was my dear friend from New York. And I went to, New York, went to the Vatican when John O'Connor became Cardinal Archbishop of New York City. And, uh, and we went down to Trastevere, which is one of my favorite, our favorite neighborhoods of all of Rome. And we had the pr privilege of going to uh, St. Mary, Santa Maria Trastevere. Uh, and uh, who do we meet? We met uh, Vicenzo Paglia. And, uh, and a number of people. It's a fascinating community, the Santa Egigio community. I probably learned more about international human rights in this community than I did anywhere in the world, from Mozambique to Bosnia. We worked together in Bosnia to Haiti, uh, all, across the, uh, all across the world to Kosovo. And uh, the man who has inspired all of us, many academic people from Rome, many professional people, clergy, but the man who headed this up, this was when John Paul II was pope, was Vincenzo Paglia, who was a, as I, I always knew him as a parish priest. And that's what he is to me. But now he's a big shot, look at him now. He's now, a, he's a, now an archbishop, he'll probably be the next pope. 
But this is who he is. He is the epitome of a Catholic priest. Really, he is. I, I think God appointed him. They say Benedict appointed him. But I happen to think it was God, the inspiration of God, because he represents that humility, same as Pope Francis does, and that sincerity. And it, you, if you haven't met him, you want to meet him, because he's a priest's priest. And he's here with us for this special occasion. Let us bring him up and welcome here to Washington our good friend, Archbishop Vincenzo Paglia from San, I'll call him from St. Mary's, Santa Maria and Trastevere. Your, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, before we start, we have if our three artists, Paul Gatto, Steve Albert, and Louise Peralta have a gift each for you, would like to present a special gift of artwork before you speak. Louise, you come first. Knowing that um, His Excellency is doing the Mass for Archbishop Oscar Romero, I asked Louise Parata to create a special portrait as a gift for the Mass that will take place on May 23rd. Let me get out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, one, we have two more, real quick. Thank you. Next, we have artist Steve Albert, who is really a military artist. He's famous for making planes and working for the USO, the Pentagon, and many military things. And I asked him, well, Steve, you can paint planes. How about painting the Pope's airplane? So he came up with this concept. Steve? Oh, yes. Very, very expensive. Italian. It's called, what is it called? The, the flight it's of, called, it's called, the called um, flight of St. Francis. Called, and the yes. Bird Pope Francis Saint on the wing. Uh, Pope Francis, it's called Pope Francis on the wing, uh, and he has painted birds uh, around the plane. It's really very clever. <laughs> you will take this plane? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very expensive Italian plane, too. Yeah. 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 And lastly, we have Paul Gatto, who did our last supper over there, old time friend. I asked him to make something that would represent Pope Francis in New York on his visit. So he did a painting. Paul? Patrick, can you help Paul the, the stairs? Mr. Gatto? <coughs> And can you, can you see it? Okay. Ooh. His version is Pope Francis with the skyline of New York. Very good. It's alive. It's him. It's He's good. alive. Bravo. You know. Bravo. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. So we, we hope you will accept our presence. And now we can listen to His Excellency speak. Thank you. Oh, wait, the award. The award. Yeah. On your behalf, it's a Lifetime Achievement Award to our very special guest, Lifetime Achievement for his role in stabilizing families throughout the world, Vincenzo Paglia. Accept this on behalf of a grateful American people for the role that you are playing in the foundation of our society, the family. Archbishop. Thank you very much. You can have a few things. Just a few words. Yeah. I can. I can. So if you want this.
distinguished hosts and officers of the National Museum of Catholic Art and Library, most honorable, honorable and distinguished award recipients and guests of the fourth annual Roman Gala. First of all, I wish to thank the National Museum of Catholic Art and Library for honoring me with uh, its lifetime achievement, special recognitions to the promotion of families and humanity awards. In this regard, I wish to say that I am truly humbled by this honor for while always feeling that much as I may try to do the work of the Lord in serving all families and thus promoting the natural institution of the family. I always feel that my work is never enough to even dream of coming close to the limits of such a vast undertaking. For this reason, as I try to carry out my duties for the Holy Father and the Church, I seek hope rather for your prayers and support. To receive of this award is therefore an honor that I accept in the name of you all and with gratitude for the support received by families and countless people of faith on end of goodwill all over the world. To this end, my thanks go in particular to our host tonight, to Chairman and Founder Mr. Timothy Barton, to Founder and Executive Director Mrs. Christina Cox, and to the members of the Gala Committee. And uh, tonight's patron, His Excellency, His Excellency Ambassador Affiliate of Italy to the United States, Mr. Claudio Bisognero, who gave me his presence at the beginning of this uh, meeting. And to the Order of St. Martin of the Mount of the Beatitudes, was distinguished representatives and members honored as tonight, particularly Prince Lorenzo Maria Raimondo de' Medici and Princess Rosemary de' Medici, and members Patricia Pozzuola and Lorenzo Ferraro, other distinguished knights, and uh, you can give my regards to Father Luigi Mezzadro, Mezzadri, the chaplain. Thinking of the theme of our gala, celebrating families and love in our mission, it is fitting for me to mention the forthcoming celebration of the eight World Meeting of Families in Philadelphia. This event, which is, which is inspired by love as the mission of all families, is a many of you made already known, organized by the Pontifical Council for the Family, together with the Catholic Archdiocese of Philadelphia. In view of uh, our Holy Father Post Francis' participation in this international event as a part of uh, his apostolic visit to the United States of America, It is truly a source of joy for me to see how this evening we gather to celebrate the role of art and culture in the promotion of the family as the place where life is, life is welcomed, nourished, brought up, supported, and taken care of. With a heartfelt gratitude, I express my sincere appreciation for the museum's gift of the portrait of all the others of the servant of God, Archbishop Oscar Romero, painted by Luis Peralta. Being, as I am, the postulator for the cause of beatification of uh, the Archbishop Romero, now scheduled for May 23rd. And uh, I will be there next week 
to celebrate this uh, unbelievable feast, not only for uh, the little country of El Salvador, but for all Americans and uh, for all Christians. Because Romero is, in my opinion, the first martyr of the, Conci the Council Vatican II. Is the first. And uh, now we have to, to think about a lot of martyrs in this current time in a different country. And I will remember all these Christians in uh, Africa, in Syria, in Iraq, in India, and in other parts of our world. They are really our heroes. They are really our protectors. That's why with Romero, I would like to remember all of this great number of the martyrs. And we have to thanks to God. Two weeks ago, I was in Barry in a meeting with all patriarchs of the Middle East. They remain there with a lot of risks, with their people, their poor people. And so I was touched in saying their strength faith their will to continue to remain over there. They say the Middle East without the Christians, Christians in a certain sense disappeared as a Middle East as a roots of our own faith. That's why we have to thank to these people, patriarchs and the normal and poor people. So, in recognition of your, your generosity and your apostolate of promoting the Christian faith and the common good through human expression, genius, and creativity, I pray that Almighty God will bless your, will bless your mission and therefore with his grace and power ad multos annos. Thanks for your friendship, for the gifts, and uh, above all, for your effort to promote, to testify the faith in Jesus Christ in these contemporary world. Thank you very much. Archbishop. Padre, I wanted to make a very special presentation. He has to leave. He has to, catch a, he has to be up at 5 o'clock to catch a plane for New York tomorrow, and we greatly appreciate his time spending with us here today, tonight in Washington. Archbishop is going to make a special presentation to somebody who is well-deserving and reflects all how we all think ab about her. Archbishop, would you please come up and make the presentation? I would like to give uh, a little gift to our uh, engine of uh, this uh, gathering. And uh, to Mrs. Christina, I would like to give uh, a medal for the last uh, World Meeting of Her Family in Milan. Oh. And this is uh, the little gift to remember. With oh the, my gosh, thank you so much. With the Pope Benedict at the time. Oh and uh, the image of the Holy Family of Nazareth, uh, which is in the Pont Pontifical Council for Family. Oh, I'm so honored. So, Thank you, Your Excellency. Your oh, my God, this is quite an honor. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. Okay. Travels. God bless you. And uh, pray for me and for the, my engagement 
in order to help all families in the world. It's a great challenge. Okay.